Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful Sunday morning. Today I've got one of the Color Revival Series G-Shocks. Uh, they come in three colors. Uh, there's a yellow, a blue, and a green, and I've got the yellow one. This is actually the JDM uh, like special edition kit where you get the yellow watch and you also get uh, a black bezel and strap and a red bezel and strap. So this particular model is called the DWE dash 5600R-9JR. Again, this is the JDM version. And for the rest of the world, they have just the regular watch, just the yellow um, G-Shock watch itself. And that's DWE dash 5600R-9. Uh, again, this is the carbon core model that's got the carbon case, the carbon core case. And the other model just has a white resin case. So that's the main difference. Obviously, you get, you know, two more bezels and two more straps with this limited edition uh, version. Now, some people say, why would you want to buy the other one? You know, it's about $50 cheaper, uh, but everything else is the exact same, the exact same module inside, which is the 3229, except for this one. This is the JDM version, and you get the carbon core case uh, which is that black, you know, like carbon core, like um, uh, carbon fiber infused resin case. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Anyway, I think it's a really nice upgrade if you want to kind of, you know, mix up your look a little bit. Maybe, you know, do like a black case, a red strap, yellow bezel, whatever you want to do. Uh, so it's basically like almost getting three watches in one. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, I want to check this thing out. Let's do it. All right, guys, we'll take a look at this thing, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like this or any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. I do get a very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, and I definitely appreciate that. So you get a special G-Shock case right here. There you go. Let me slide it out from this side. This thing is kind of hard to open, a little hard to open, only because the tolerances are so tight. So there you go. There's your G-branded case. Let's see if we can open this thing up. And there's some more stuff in this part right here I'm gonna show you in just a second. So here you go. Open up, boom, all right, there we go. And here is the watch. Take this out rather gently. I can get this thing out of here. There we go. All right, so there's your first look at the watch. Pretty cool. And of course you get the black bezel and the red bezel along with a black strap and a red strap. So there you go. All right, put all this stuff back. Actually, let's just get it out of the way. And uh, we'll go over the basic specs of the watch. This is not gonna be a super detailed review because y'all have seen these, uh, these 5600 series many, many, many times. Uh, they're not, you know, not a normally like a feature rich G-Shock watch, like no atomic, no solar. These are battery driven. So there's not really too much to talk about. So these are a little special because obviously they're a different colorway. Uh, the yellow first came out um, for the rest of the world in 1987. Actually, Casio North America asked Casio Japan, hey, look, yellow happens to be a very popular color now for like race cars and other things. We would like a different color watch instead of just the black that they normally have. So Casio made this. Again, this came out in 87. And then there's a blue model and a green model that came out four years later. Why those two other ones came out four years later, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, so uh, those are the two other models of this particular new release, actually re-release of those uh, new colorways for 1987. Again, Casio's had been all black back then. All the G-Shocks were black back then. And uh, Casio North America actually requested that they have this yellow color. So this was released outside of Japan. This actually didn't, wasn't released in Japan, which is really, really odd. But uh, anyway, there you go. So there is that. Let me open up this side. Because you have those bezels and you have the straps, they give you a little tool right here. Here is your little bezel and strap changing tool right there. And it's really easy to pop off the bezels. I don't, I don't even know why you need this tool, but it's, I mean, it's nice if you want to use it. But uh, the bezels are really easy to pop off as well as the straps because they have that quick release system on the strap. So there's your little bezel strap removing tool. Here is your module uh, manual, 3229. And in here you get uh, two little instruction booklets, one how to change out 
the bezel, and then the other one how to change out the strap. Really easy stuff. All right, let's get this stuff out of the way. And that's it. That's all that comes in the rest of the box, nothing else. And again, the main difference with these is the carbon core case. So if you look right here, let me get this out of the way here. If you look right here, let me go ahead and uh, open it up for you, at least open up the strap so you can see the, the, um, the back of the watch. So there's the carbon core case. So if you look on the left-hand side, there is the other model, and that's the DW5600REC-9. That just has your regular case back. So this one also weighs about a gram more than the one on the left, just because the carbon core model, you know, it's tougher, it's carbon uh, fiber infused. So it actually adds a gram to the watch. And I think if I remember correctly, I actually weighed these. Uh, with the strap, the watches weigh, um, so with the strap, this one weighs 51 grams. And then um, the other model, the one on the left, weighs 50 grams. I think the cases are like, 44 grams and then 43 grams on the left hand side. So the strap adds what eight eight grams something like that uh, So anyway, so that's the main difference and obviously you can pop these off real quick I'll go over the specs here in just a sec. I just want to show you how easy it is. Look, I mean you can just take it off with your hand It's incredibly easy to pop these off. There you go And one thing I didn't notice about these watches until I actually just took that bezel off is you've got that shock resist kind of logo right there on the case. I have never seen that before. And I don't know if that's just, you know, with these carbon core models, I'm not quite sure. That is a really cool little detail. I think that's really cool looking. So as you can see, they have little teeth right there where my finger is. I don't know if you can see that. See that little tooth right there? They have those on the case and that's what snaps that bezel into place. Pretty cool, man. Of course you see your quick release straps. Really cool little watch, man. I do wish these were solar powered, at least solar powered, so you don't have to mess with the battery. Y'all know how much I hate messing with batteries, man. I just hate cracking open a case if I can avoid it. Uh, and that'd be really cool if these were um, solar powered and atomic. That'd be really cool too. But there you go, just your basic, you know, your basic G square. And again, feature wise, there's not really too much to show you. I'll go ahead and show you some of that stuff. But let me go ahead and go over the specs real quick. I'll give you a little brief demonstration of all the features. And again, there's not too many. See, I've already popped it back on. That's how fast That's how fast you can take these off. And you don't need that tool. Well, you might want to use the tool to swap out the straps. I take that back. These are a little bit inset. So they might be a little harder to, uh, to swap out without that tool. So anyway, so let's go ahead and go over the specs. You're looking at a 43.8 millimeter carbon core guard structure case as opposed to just a regular resin case with the other model. Uh, it's 13.7 millimeters thick. It's 48.9 millimeters lug to lug. Uh, it comes on a 20 millimeter resin strap. These are basically kind of proprietary. Uh, you could put like a NATO on here, but you're going to want to stick, at least that's my personal opinion, you're going to want to stick with the straps that are provided. Uh, water resistance, of course, is 200 meters, which is 660 feet. You get the 3229 module with about a two-year battery life. And, of course, you get that mineral crystal. You're not going to get a sapphire or anything like that. And, of course, if you want to check out all the other specs, check out, you know, the uh, description field below. Of course, you got four pushers. You know, you got stopwatch, countdown timer, auto calendar to the year 2099, uh, hourly time signal flash alert. Let me show you this flash alert real quick. Uh, what the flash alert does is is when an alarm goes off or a countdown timer goes off or something like that, uh, that actually flashes the screen. The screen will flash that electroluminescence green color. Uh, you can just turn that on and off by pressing and holding the light button right here. And what that'll do is that'll turn it on or off. So you press and hold it, and there you go, it disappears. So the normal button for the light is down here. And I'll show you that here in just a second. But, uh, you know, you got your regular modes. There's your time mode. Here's your alarm. There's your uh, your timer. There's your stopwatch. Let me go ahead and demonstrate the stopwatch. All right. Oh, maybe it's up here. Yep, there it is. There's your stopwatch. And let me see where reset is. Maybe it's reset over here. Is it down here? Where is reset? So there you go, your reset's over here in the upper left-hand corner. Man, it took me a while to figure that out. Um, so anyway, so there's just your basic functions, then you go back to time. There you go. So again, really basic watch. Let me go ahead and try this thing on real quick. These are a tad small on me. Uh, on my eight-inch wrist, they might fit y'all a little bit better. Just a tad small. 
There you go. Cool looking watch, man. Great watch to wear to like the, you know, to the beach or something like that. Really cool looking watch. All right. Let's go check out this electroluminescent loom. Let's go ahead and kill all the lights. There we go. All right, let's check out this loom here. There you go. I mean, not the, you know, I mean, it gets the job done. And it's much more visible in real life than it is on the camera for some reason. You got to get the right angle on the camera to see it. But it definitely gets the job done. And it's not super bright. It doesn't have an auto backlight features like, you know, normally when you twist your wrist, uh, some, a lot of G-Shock models, you know, some of the upper end models have that auto light that comes on when you, you know, tilt it 15 degrees. This doesn't have that. You have to manually push the button. But uh, there you go. So, all right, let's go ahead and cut everything back on. Let's go ahead and finish up this review. I'd love to know y'all's thoughts on this. Would you pay the extra $50 for two extra bezels and two extra straps? Uh, and, of course, you know, you're getting that carbon core guard case instead of the regular resin case. So it's a little bit tougher uh, than the other model. So tell me what you think, man. I like these things. I really do. I wish they were just a little bit bigger. That's why I like the Metal Gs. I love, I mean, I absolutely love that watch. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a little heavy, but I don't give a damn. I absolutely love that thing. These are just a little too small. And honestly, for a G-Shock, they feel a little too dainty for me. And that's just me personally. So anyway, you can get these on my Amazon channel for $210. Uh, again, the other model is about 150 bucks, but I think that G-Shock is uh, currently sold out of those, I believe. So you might want to check Amazon, see if you can find the other model. If you don't want the Carbon Core Guard case, if you don't want the extra bezels and straps, uh, the other model is about 150 bucks. But I think G-Shock is sold out, and I'll have to check Amazon and see what we can find out for you. So anyway, guys, again, I'll put that link in the description field for you. And also, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. It really, really does help out the channel. Uh, it really does help out my, my analytics and metrics. And only, you know, only do that if you like the content, if you like my reviews. Um, but anyway, just think about doing that for me. And uh, guys, that's really about it. I have a really nice review coming up next weekend. A uh, watch I've been wanting to review for a couple months now, and I finally got my hands on one. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. And thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.